we will run CYM for a longer time period mm -hmm. and then run a new notebook that allows us to see the time series of when the plants are in the soil and when they're harvested. Mm -hmm. uh, can we open CYM? Yes. Uh, can we open the settings file for the Danube? And can we run it? Can we run the Danube for like four years? The one that we saw, uh, yeah. this one. Mm -hmm. Four years. Mm. And let's do it with no spin up. No spin up. Yeah. Okay. So spin up can be, um, we still have to type in spin up. Ah. We still have to include it, but <laughs> type in it with a capital N at the beginning, N, then lowercase O N E. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, would it be? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, okay, and we need to have new output data. Ah, the new file. Mm -hmm. well, we can overwrite this, this is fine. Output five minutes, we can overwrite it? Yeah, but okay. we just have to find out what output files we want. Can you go to GitHub desktop and we'll update our GitHub repository? Let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you go fetch or option. Uh, yes, because this is a fork instead of a branch. In current branch. Mm -hmm. Can you go upstream develop? It's towards the bottom. Uh, and leave my changes. On the switch branch. Mm -hmm. Did it work? Yes. No. Uh, here's what we want. Okay, go there again. And at the bottom, choose a branch to merge and to develop. Oh, sorry, ah. not this. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the very bottom, yes, perfect. And now we want to take the upstream develop. Okay. So we have to take this upstream developer and bring it to bring it mm -hmm. to your fork. To the fork. Can you click the down arrow? Let's try create a merge commit. Mm. And then default option. We're merging upstream commit. Okay, let's see what happens when we do this. Can you scroll through these to the bottom one? That's yeah, fine, that's fine, that's fine. fine. I, 
um, instead of resolve, can we can we do the down arrow for one of these resolve? Yeah, yeah use the modified file code. Does that mean your developer, our developer? Well, files that don't exist on upstream do not include this file. Yes, click the bottom. Yeah, it wants to take the file from. Okay. Yeah. Our yeah. Work. Mm -hmm. And the bottom one. Yeah, click the down arrow again. Mm -hmm. We use the modified file from upstream developer. We want everything from upstream developer. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And yeah. But I'm curious what what changes we made in the water demand file. Yeah, I must wonder. Can you click undo um, for the Here? water demand? Yeah. And open in our studio. See what it shows. <laughs> Later, okay. No. It doesn't show what's different. Uh, well, let's, let's see. All right, yeah, right here. But this is something that we modified. I can't remember. I guess we wouldn't have modified this. Okay, yeah, let's just remove everything that we did and just take, because we wouldn't have done anything on purpose. Mm -hmm. Just so you have it. Use. Okay, great. <clears throat> okay, so maybe if you scroll up, we're missing a file. Oh. Let me go to history. I fetch origin again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can you go to history? Okay, perfect. And now if you push origin, it's just going to your own GitHub. You know, the fork of your CWM repository. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now can we go into uh, CWM Toolkit notebooks. Um, we can minimize all this now. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Notebooks. <laughs> oh, what was the result? You know what it? And uh, the development book, right? How many crops do we have in the den? Let me open up your Excel. Um, yeah. <laughs> We want the exact number. Mm. The, but uh, yeah, all we those. did the, ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, then it's okay, 15. Mm -hmm. Okay, 15. Mm -hmm. You can close it. 
Can we open up land? Okay, let's go to the bottom. It'll let us know what how what's going on. Still on the way to the bottom. Oh, yes, it's fine. It's still on. Oh, it's still awesome. Yeah. awesome. Hey, good and tight. Thank you. Okay. On uh, the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom, yeah. It does, okay. yeah, sorry, now a little bit up. Yeah, just this whole section. Mm -hmm. So you can copy even this out map. Ah, to map. copy it, yeah, sorry. Copy the whole thing. We're in the way. Okay. Yeah. And take it into our settings file. Under outputs. Mm -hmm. And copy it. Yep. Okay, so you see here, mm -hmm. then we see numbers going up to 17. Yes. So we'll, we can talk about these specific outputs um, later, but we only want, we have 15 crops mm -hmm. and start with zero. So we want to go from zero to 14. So let's remove the six, let's remove the 15, 16, 17 versions of these outputs. Um, wait. Okay, first thing. See, can you go back to the beginning of this line? Can, can you put the cursor in front of the F? The, this one? Yeah, and just yeah, in front of the F. Just the cursor. And mm -hmm. go backspace, backspace. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is what I was not understand. Okay. Okay, now let's remove the the 15, 16, and 17. They are sorry, I have to move yeah, this yeah. again. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's always new dust. But also he said your windows need to be um they're not close to they don't hold properly. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be different. Oh, cool. Okay. Also, this one. Uh, yeah, for each variable, the there are mm -hmm, there for each variable, there are a number up until the 70. Yes, just because um, the example had uh, 18 crops in it, mm -hmm. now we have 15. So you reduce it to however many crops one is using, mm -hmm. or even extend the list. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, oh, okay. And here. Okay. okay. I think it's yes. So just to make sure everything is working properly, can we actually just run for maybe six months before we do the full mm -hmm. run? Yes. Or even four months. Four months will be the minimum we should look at. Four months. Four months, yeah. Or just until like the 10th, or sorry, 10th month. Uh, oh, yeah, good. Is that how many months you said? Four months. Four months. So six is, are you just going to work backwards? Yeah, great. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. Now let's run this. Oh, we didn't get all the outputs. We just did the monthly ones. Can we go back to the notebook? Good. Now we just want these daily ones. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. So we already have daily outputs. So we'll comment out the daily outputs we're currently asking for. Mm -hmm. You can put just a number assigned in front of this. Yeah. Yes. That we still want. That we yes. still want. Mm -hmm. 
Good. Okay. Now we run. Okay. <laughs> Okay. How big is the tiny basin? Ah, it says right there. <laughs> Eight hundred thousand kilometers squared. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when this is finished running, we'll run the notebook. Mm -hmm. Make sure everything works, and then we'll run for four years. And then we'll look at the notebooks again. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we come back in four months. <laughs> See you soon. Yes. <laughs> so faster than expected. Yeah, it's like a moment ago. <laughs> and yeah, let's go run the notebooks. Hmm. First, we have to update the output folder paths. Yeah. Mm. We okay. also want the path to the Excel settings file. Ah, oh, of course. Mm -hmm. Ah, here. Mm-hmm. All the rest is fine. Okay. Oh. Run and uh, yeah. it should run. We can always keep it in the file. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. So this is this was for four months. So we haven't we don't see anything specifically, but mm -hmm. okay. Um, we'll see more when we do a two-year run. Let's do a two-year run, and then we'll talk about these more specifically. Okay. Okay. That's very nice to see. Okay, then. Should I go this again? Yeah, sometimes it complains when we overwrite the output folder when the notebooks are open. Yes. Did we save? Let me take it over to the other screen. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah, so all we need to get, all we need to do is put the two years here. I think we we put an unmet demand, right? Yeah. Ah yes, it was, yeah. Sorry, I wasn't sure if it was. Yeah, no, good to check. But we should still, still yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> but change the time to two years. Ah, sorry.
Yeah, and that's fine also. Okay, the next time we'll also make a batch file is called where instead of typing this all in, you just have to double click something. I think you've learned the sound of my heart tonight. Now we can be, but Might I still be don't think it's a I can go type this in every file or something. I learned the batch file. Yeah, okay, you learned the batch file. Yeah. When does your bus leave? Ah, uh, uh, I can take the one half an hour or okay. 45 minutes. Okay, so okay, that's right. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. No, no. okay, then I see you in four, four and a half years. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, it's run for the four years. Yes. So... Uh, did I close? Yes. Okay. Okay, everything is the same, so let's see if we are lucky this time. Oh. It will take some time to run, but while we're waiting, we can look at the map that gets produced. Mm -hmm. This one? Yeah, let's find the dead. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> we already see. So this is irrigated land mm -hmm. in the Danube Basin. You see it's stepping predominantly towards the downstream part of the basin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, the blue darker, means you already get more. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can we zoom into the darker green parts? Where is the darkest green? Yeah, maybe just like, yeah, maybe just up here. Up here. Sorry. Let's zoom into the area, yeah. See what's going on there. Okay, so we see lots of agriculture. Um, mm -hmm. we'll just hang on to the irrigated agriculture. Hmm. While well, here, for example. Okay, yeah, it's a mountain, mountainous mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. And there's quite a lot of agriculture upstream part of the Danube, but it's not, it's not really irrigated. Yes. Or not as significantly as what we're seeing downstream. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like it's already run. Oh, oh awesome. nice. <laughs> oh. Okay. What is proposed? Okay, so this is irrigated and planted. The next one is non-irrigated and planted. And this is everything together. So let's yeah, let's, but what's let's like the bacon proposed the bacon wheat and proposed yeah. So let's look at we can let's look at yeah. Just look at tobacco and proposed tobacco. So just double click tobacco and proposed tobacco. All oh, right, sorry. Oh, sorry. Double click one of them and then just click this one. Okay. Okay. So proposed tobacco is how much you were asking the model to plant. Ah, okay. But it looks like there is a small gap here. So either the space was taken up by another crop or the map of irrigated land that we had, which is the input, the dynamic input that we didn't change. There are probably some spots that you have said there is tobacco, that we found tobacco. Mm -hmm. 
that the input of the irrigated area is saying there's no irrigated land there. Mm -hmm. So we could improve the irrigated land map based on this crop map that we have. Mm -hmm. But we see this discrepancy is, is maybe not so significant. But let's look at, so, so we see the seasonality of tobacco it's like, here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's like 10, 10 million 10, hectares, yeah. 10 million meters squared. Yeah, 10 million meters squared. Mm -hmm. Let's look at a couple other crops, wheat and proposed wheat, for example. Uh, yeah, is it just, yeah, there. No, wait. And now double click it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here the discrepancy is already here. Yeah. So we can always change mm -hmm. the irrigated input map, but that's what the discrepancy is saying. So mm -hmm. either it's being taken up by another crop, mm -hmm. or there's not enough what's declared as irrigated land in mm -hmm. the cell or the fraction of the cell that's saying there's wheat. Mm -hmm. But let's now just look at, like, let's take off the proposed wheat. Let's just look at wheat and tobacco. Like, tobacco ones so you see oh <laughs> <laughs> so i mean it's significantly different right tobacco yeah. and wheat. let's let's put on barley spring mm -hmm. so the proposed is just a line for comparing uh yeah like the discrepancy between what you what we were asking to the model and what is there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's proposed what, what we're asking and tobacco saying, well, here, mm -hmm. here's what the model's allowing you to do mm -hmm. based on what the irrigated land is or if another crop has taken its place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Early winter. Huh. Okay. But now it gets a bit busy. Let's, let's take off everything again. Yeah, okay. Let's look at yes. let's look at this unavailable land forest. So here's okay, so you see here's forest compared to let's see what are the other options here. Let's just look at forest. Paddy is going to be near zero. So mm -hmm. it's nice to have zero there. Sealed is the amount of sealed land or generally urban land in the Danube. Okay. So again, significantly less water, yeah, near, relatively low. And we don't have um, everything else. Oh, we don't have irrig yeah, irrigated land. Total irrigated land is here. Okay, just so we can focus on total irrigated land. Let's look at total irrigated land next to total irrigated crops. So the irrigated crops are what we include specifically in the model. Mm -hmm. But total irrigated land is what the model is saying. This is that's the land class of irrigated land. Okay. Hmm. So according to this, there's a lot more irrigated land than we are taking up with the crops we've put in there. Let's look at total non-irrigated land, which then again a whole magnitude higher. And total non-irrigated crops. Yeah, non irrigated land. This seems quite reasonable because the rest can just be grasslands. Mm -hmm. But it is interesting that we see, because we were finding the majority of crops to that were irrigated. And, sorry? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's just put, let's put Patty, which is zero. This is the total irrigated, mm -hmm. oh, we're looking at the wrong total irrigated land, the total irrigated crops. Mm -hmm. So this is significantly lower than we expect because there's so much more irrigated land. So there's yes. something to look into. Mm -mm. Let's look at irrigated crops up here. But the information about irrigated land, where, where it does derive from? Um, based on a global data set on the distribution of yeah forests, grasslands, and irrigated land. It's one of the land classes that's available mm -hmm. from 1960 to 2010. Mm -hmm. So we see these are all the irrigated crops that we're summing up, but it's not even getting close to this. So either this is incorrect. Mm -hmm. Or 
there is so or, underestimation, a big underestimation. Yeah, any, anything could be possible. Oh, uh, yeah, something that we need to but check. Something to look into. So, mm -hmm. like this. Okay, but this is exactly what we were going to use. These, we will investigate for it, but this is exactly mm -hmm. how we can use this notebook. <clears throat> this is like how much forest use compared to grasslands. Oh, no. Compared to. The transpiration from irrigated agriculture. So there's not there's not so much agriculture in the Danube relative to the forests, mm -hmm. uh, but non-irrigated agriculture is within grasslands. Mm -hmm. So this is curious. Something something that we can look into. Oh, now with irrigated crops. Interesting. We definitely have much more irrigated land in the dynamic land cover set than we're covering mm -hmm. with the crops. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Something to investigate yeah. for next time. Yeah. Okay. Exciting. Cool. <laughs> All right. Have a nice evening. Thank you. You too. <laughs>